practicing self-isolation. Um, me and Izzy have decided to take turns to do the washing up. So I thought I'd do a little refresher tutorial for those of us who may have forgotten a bit. So first I was deciding, should I like lather each bowl, rinse it, and put it in the rack? But then I decided there's a better way to do it. Just fill up the sink, put all the dishes inside, okay? Then turn off the water so you don't waste water also. Then lather all of them and then put them back here and then rinse them off. Got it. We're all doing our part. We're all doing our part. Um, those brooms also shed a little bit. dish from Kerala. It's called Panyaram. You will either make it savory or you make it sweet. I'm making a sweet version of it. So, we're just about starting. Um, well, so stay tuned. So basically, here are my Panyarams. They're like little uh, fluffiness of uh, goodness and deliciousness. And uh, can't wait to taste them. They're really nice. Okay, I'm almost halfway there. I just have to Make sure that I get this atta right. Check it for consistency and taste. Yum, yum. Okay. See you soon. Okay, like promised, my besan ladus are ready. I've got the perfect ladu shape, and I'm really impressed because this is the first time I'm attempting at making. Hi everybody, since we have a lot of time on our hands, I thought I'd use it a little constructively and calmly. Of course, you've got to stay uh, safe and healthy. I thought I'll make some uh, uh, Malabari vegetable stew today, which uh, we all love. At home, I have this recipe that I borrowed from my mother, a bit of it from my mom, and a bit from uh, a very dear friend of mine who's a wonderful cook, Monica, uh, called the cooking curry. So yes, this is my yummy vegetable, Malabari vegetable stew which is great for the soul, uh, great for immunity. And I'm going to have it with some um, steamed uh, white rice. And also I have some bread over here, chickpea, gluten-free, vegan bread, which uh, my friend Ravina made for me, this bread. So yeah, I'm going to probably have it with that or with uh, white rice. Uh, yeah, so stay safe, stay healthy.
I put maroni masala on the rice first and keep it like that and then I put it. Like that, I'm going to show it that. Like that. So we are two chefs. Madi, I now, this is, uh, the, what is that, Gurdi of Khanda and I have the Khanda, I have to go a little in the Gurdi. I know Marbari Masala in it. It will go.